Red Bank. We're going to see Johnny's Pork Roll. The famous Johnny's Pork Roll truck. And uh, this is a Toast City Diner. Cool building. But they don't have a, uh, I need to throw something out. They don't have a regular garbage can, just a recycle bin. So, please like and subscribe. And this is the Taylor Ham Pork Roll South Jersey Johnny's. It's a cool looking card, huh? Cool card. Alright, so I'm on my way over to the Johnny's Pork Roll store. And uh, I got pulled into the Earth Spirit <laughs> store. They got crystals and incense and green cards and all kinds of cool stuff. Buddhas, sage. So that's kind of cool, right? Earth Spirit in Red Bank. Check them out. Lobster gives two thumbs up. This is the street leading up to Gianni's. Red Bank. I don't know what street. To, I think it's Mama Street, but see if Gianni's here. And there's the famous place. Gianni's Pork Roll. Good branding. Gianni's got good branding. He's a media marketing guy. So I hey guys, how are you? It's Herb from Lobster Lair Media. So we're down here at the famous place, Johnny's Pork Roll. We're looking for Johnny, we're looking for the truck, but the, the, the standing restaurant was easier to find than the mobile truck. <laughs> right? Because we know where this one was. He's, he's whereabouts unknown, right? Somewhere in the Red Bank area. We didn't add you. It's hard to keep track of these guys. That's funny. <laughs> so I was asking you before, and you told me off camera, which you're willing to tell me on camera, yeah. how, he, how he is as a boss. Because he, he seems like a really down-to-earth guy on, on the videos and stuff. Not even on the scale of like phenomenal. Like, right, he's just a fun, crazy guy, right? Sometimes he doesn't even feel like a boss. I mean, he'll, he'll keep you in place, you know, but like, yep. he's just phenomenal. He treats us like, you know, family. He, he treats us really. like family, yeah. and that's what it's all about, really. Right. Because I've worked for corporate, and corporate is a pain in the ass sometimes. You're like a cog in the wheel. Oh, yeah. We, we, look at us. How, like, how can we see people smiling behind the counter? You know? Most people, most darn people right. aren't smiling behind the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. So, and he was a media guy, right? He, he had a media he had a media agency in New York City. It's a crime shame, man. Uh, I really wish John was here to talk more in depth, but yeah, he, he did like the whole business thing for a while. And he was never that person, at, at least I understand. He grew right. up as a, like a surfer. And you can tell just how he acts, man. He's right. just chill. And so well, he's a, well, he's a really smart brander and marketer. Oh, yeah. Which, well, that's, you know. That's uh, his background, but. Um, yeah. You know, when you get outside the business thing, you just. He's a, he's, a, he's a cool guy. Oh, yeah. So you would hang out with him even if he wasn't your boss? I have. Yeah, before he was my boss, I, you know, I'd, I'd come by and just kind of bounce off him, you know? So That's cool. Yeah. Now, what did you come from the food industry? What it, what's your what's your deal? No, I, I had a mutual friend. Uh, I had just lost my job uh, during COVID. And, yeah. Uh, he put in the work with Johnny, and Johnny was like, I'll try him out. And then All right. it was just bonds, you know? All right. like, work, but yeah. yeah. Cool. No, this is a, like I said, I, I've been hearing about this guy for years. My friend has a food truck. Yeah. And so his two heroes are him. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and the guy, uh, Jersey Mike Subs. So those are his oh, two yeah. heroes. Well, Johnny, Johnny always references Jersey Mike's. So yeah. The, the business model. The How business model and the brand yeah. is really right. tight. Oh, yeah. You know? So cool. All right. Well, so he didn't text you back, right? Tell them that the New York Times is here, and they want to New interview him. New York Times? <laughs> I'm just, he doesn't mention that. No, I'm just bullshitting you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're saying that you don't think everybody ever had the same opinion. I don't think any two people walking the earth that have encountered Johnny Corbett. So what are, the, what are the two extremes? Like, what are you... What, extremes what, is exactly that. Uh, yep. Either you, you hate his guts or you love him to death. Yep. <laughs> you know, like, some people come in and they get a sour experience, but... More often than not, it's not um like it's not out of the blue, you know. Yep. Uh, and then you know the the much greater majority is just infatuated with the guy. He, he, yeah, well, he's a, yeah. like I said, he's a character. Right. He's like a celebrity personality. Oh, question, yeah. You know, and that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. You know, it's like you can go here without having to go to Hollywood to to find him. Right. You know. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think that that's our biggest ongoing joke here. <laughs> well, how come we're not in Hollywood? <laughs> Uh, no, hey, don't. can you, come on, come, come on down. Because that's what it feels like. Is that like he's he's like feels like that kind of personality, you know? No, and, you know, he does have that personality. He has that personality for like 
even being on a game show. Oh, no, no doubt, no doubt. Extra, like, yep. But Johnny's very like giving. Like, yep. He's a very sweet guy. Like yep. he doesn't consider himself a chef. He just considers himself a cook. You know? Yep. And it's in the most loving way. And awesome. every sandwich he makes like comes from his heart. And this means the world to him. This is his child. No, it's really, it's really cool. Like I said, I've been following. I've been. I'm, I'm going to call it the brand, but you know, I know it's he's the brand. But I've been, I've been watching for a few years, and I think it's pretty cool, because I, I that's what I do, and I teach. I teach branding and marketing on a budget. So the biggest challenge for entrepreneurs is how do you get your word out there on a budget? Like how do you, can you? I don't have thirty grand to go on, a, on an ad agency. So what do you do? You got to figure it out. You got to do the social media. You got to, you got to network. You got to connect. And that's what, that's what he does, and that's yeah. what you do. Exactly. You know. So yeah, like, really cool. Does he love, like, in just the food truck world, but also in the music world. Like, Johnny was a DJ. And oh, I didn't know his that. His music taste is amazing. Ah. And, I mean, I, I'm learning more about music through someone who is double my age. I am 21. Okay. I'm young. I'm a baby here. But, you know, he shows me songs that are new to this year. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. But, so I got another Red Bank question for you since yeah. I'm in Red Bank. So, does, does, is the Clarence place still here? Is that still, does, I know there was a bar and a restaurant owned by Clarence Clemens. Is the bar still owned or is it, I know he passed, but was, wasn't that in Red Bank? I'm not You're sure. not sure? Honestly, okay, not sure. okay. Because okay. you know who he was, right? He was, uh, he was the, the uh, he, was in the he, was, he was in Bruce's band, yeah. And I thought he had a restaurant or a bar. I mean, he passed a few years ago, but I didn't know if the bar was still around or not. Well, he's been here. Well, not lately because he's deceased. Oh, you mean Bruce. No, no, like, uh, We've had the ghost of had, Clarence Clemens, no. No, 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 I had, <laughs> I had a guy. Um, you mean Jerry Clemens, his son? Ah, okay. He's, he's, he's a big guy too, and yeah, he, and yeah. he plays. He's right here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I play kickball. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that he is still teaching, um, like he works at a music school. Ah, okay. Um, which is located over by Keyboard. Yeah. He's here. Okay. But, All right, yeah. well, really cool. Really cool. Thank you guys for uh, for doing the interview. Thank you. And um, yeah, I definitely like I said, I've been I've been following Johnny the brand for a couple years, and I think it's pretty cool. And I finally got to get down here. Maybe uh, you know we'll show him the video when I get it out. Maybe he'll he'll let me do an interview next time. You know, this came from a tattoo artist, right? Yeah, it was gifted to Johnny. Um, okay. And then this one over here, we had a girl with an Etsy account. She just stopped by. I mean. Johnny doesn't really like the bagel idea, but he loves it a lot. Yep. <laughs> and then what about the uh, what about the Devil's jersey? Well, the Devil's is 100% Johnny. Okay. Ah. And cool. then, yeah. Very cool. Really cool. And look at the high ceilings in this place yeah. too. I, I didn't even show you that when I came in, this, but this is the original ceiling. We actually had a guy. There used to be um, like a sort of one place before here. Uh huh. Um, and then before that, uh, there was a cobble. Ah. at one point and he said that he used to come hang out here and he went to Reckon and Catholic and I'm going to say he's in his late 70s now Okay. He said it's still the same ceiling as it was wow. when he was in high school and he used to hang out here. That's pretty cool. So, hey guys, Sarah Blosh, you Lab Media. So I'm at Johnny's Pork Gold down in Red Bank. Johnny's, Johnny's still not here, whereabouts unknown, but I'm sure he's on the way in. But I want to show you, look at that. Is that unbelievable or what? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's an unbelievable sandwich. We're going to get that. Are you going to get that? Awesome.